Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss in details about the Rutherford's Atomic Model, along with the postulates and limitations of the Rutherford's Atomic Model. This video is, is a part of our course on Engineering Materials and Material Science. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. In the last video, we discussed about different types of atomic models and learned in details about Thomson's atomic model. Today we will learn about Rutherford's atomic model. British physicist Ernest Rutherford proposed this model of the atomic structure. Rutherford proposed that an atom is composed of empty space mostly with electrons orbiting in a set, predictable parts around fixed, positively charged nucleus. So, according to this model, an atom consists of a fixed nucleus. Inside the fixed nucleus there are neutrons and protons. And then, there are electrons revolving in fixed orbits. Now let's look at the postulates of Rutherford atomic model. According to the postulates of Rutherford atomic model, an atom is composed of positively charged particles. Majority of the mass of an atom was concentrated in a very small region called as the nucleus of an atom. It was found out later that the very small and dense nucleus of an atom is composed of neutrons and protons. Atom's nucleus is surrounded by negatively charged particles called electrons. The electrons revolve around the nucleus in a fixed circular path at very high speed. These fixed circular paths were termed as orbits. An atom has no net charge or they are electrically neutral. Because electrons are negatively charged and the densely concentrated nucleus is positively charged. A strong electrostatic force of attractions holds together the nucleus and electrons. The size of the nucleus of an atom is very small in comparison to the total size of an atom. Now, let's look at the limitations of Rutherford's atomic model. This model was unable to explain stability of atom. This theory was incomplete, because it did not mention anything about arrangement of electrons in the orbits. So, we have learnt about Rutherford's atomic model along with the postulates and limitations of the Rutherford's atomic model in details. In the next video, we will discuss in details about Bohr atomic model along with its postulates and limitations. Thank you.